Alright, GBTT on three. One, two, three. GBTT! What's up, guys? So I've got a fight booked now. Um, you know, I've signed the contract, so the beginning of uh, 2020. You know, I've got that fight. I reckon a good win that I'm gonna get is gonna put me in the top ten. And then next year for me is just about fighting. I've had a long layoff because I got injured. I went travelling. Um, so for me now, you know, it's about time that I put my uh, put my name on the mark. Come back, get it back, get a nut back. <laughs> get a nut back. The one pound down. I'd like to have this. I don't shoot it. You know, I've been there, done that, I've got t shirts, and it's hard work. You, you, you have to train hard. You know, uh, and uh, going live is a very, very important, important part of uh, learning because this is where you find out where the holes in your game. You know, you find out these holes, and then, and me as a coach, if I'm doing it with you, I can see where you make mistakes, or if, if I'm visually watching you, I can see where you're making mistakes. And then, or if I don't see you, you can come back to me. And, Look, I got choked out four times today. What am I going wrong? You know, so like, it, going live is a very, very important part of learning, and it gives you a base to know where you need to work on, and then, then we'll work on it in different times. You know, to there's technical sessions and there's sparring, you know. <laughs> 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 Stop filming! So there's a funny story actually with um, my relationship with Brad because I remember seeing him once about six, seven years ago now and he was in uh, Kingston, it was like, just like a, a shopping centre and I was with my ex-girlfriend I said, that's, that's Brad Pitt, you know? I was like starstruck and she was like, yeah, who's that? And I was like, don't worry, and I was just like, Brad, 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 like that, like a little fanboy and he just sort of turned around and went, yay, like that um, and then I actually tweeted him just after that and he said, oh, you know, you, sh you should have come and said hello, he saw I was a fighter and stuff and, and uh, about a year later I got in, invited to do a little bit of sparring with him um, and another teammate of mine who also had the same manager as Brad and I went along you know and Brad obviously I think liked what he what he saw and you know he saw that I had talent and stuff and he said to me look do you want to do you want to come along and keep training with me and you know the rest is history I've got along with him ever since um, and you know I would say it's at a point now where I'd class Brad as family I wouldn't even class him as my coach um, you know I've got my dad who's, who's my coach and you know we have a good bond and I've got another good bond with Brad as well and you know for me he's, he isn't just a coach he, he is like a kind of like a father figure as well so you know I think I'm blessed to have that boom boom get a take down whatever boom now we're going to lie now we're going to lie if he gets back up, I'm still going to try to take him back down, whatever, and if he breaks away, alright, now he takes me down, okay, so take down control, people just get in, that's how we have to get more, hold myself, I'm in the Nick, you got a ticket, I believe, there's, I have a lot of people within this gym, could go all the way, you know, but there's, there's a mixture of talent and hard work. You know, you have to have that balance. You know, hard work beats talent. But talent with hard work makes world champions, you know. So that's that, that that's also the work ethic I'm trying to provide with 
these guys it's not easy it's a it's a, it's a slug it's not easy it's not you know everyone thinks oh it's glitz and glam you get the cars get the chick no it's not that it's hard work True Obs. <laughs> don't sleep on me free so free <laughs> Days. I keep on spending, I need to fucking save My mind is on, it's on another wave Thinking all these thoughts and they possess my head for days It's funny how they never change True odds is probably getting rich from counting all this little change Grow until I get a range, rise until I light a wave Get all like my lingo Show me light, show me brighter days Funny as a kid, I was overly hyper Nowadays I'm anti like I've been with your uncle Baby you could fall but I'd rather that you stumble Make sure that you fall but your belly's always humble I'm a sweet kid, I could be your apple crumble Watch your niggas turning phony Red button every time that they fold me I stay up on my sexy lonely Feel better when I'm fucking lonely Show me yeah, no, like, he's always looking hungry, like I see it. Um, like today I had really tough rounds with him, I'm not sure if you've seen it, but yeah, really, um, about three tough rounds with him today, beating the crap out of him. So yeah, no, he's, he's looking good, he's looking good. So next year, for Nathaniel, it's going to be, it's going to be crazy, he's going to turn into a monster. Even more of a beast than he is now, so yeah. 100% he has has all the attributes, you know, like uh, um, to get there, he has, he has a really good work ethic, he is very talented, don't get me wrong, uh, and he's always eager to learn, you know, he's always eager to learn. So, uh, yeah, he has all the right ingredients to, to go all the way. I'd say as I've grown up, I always take every day as it comes. You know, when I was younger, I used to just sit there, I think, I want to be USC champion, I need to be a millionaire and that sort of stuff. But, you know, as I've got older, I've realised that none of that matters. What does matter is just being happy. And, you know, it's it's up to you if you wake up and you want to be happy or you want to be down or sad and look at the things that you haven't got. So, for me, you know, I just look at what I have got. And, you know, there's little kids out there that are dying on hospital beds and just wishing they could give life another go. And here's me, you know, worrying about not being a millionaire or something. So, now, you know, I just, I just enjoy life, wake up every day, be happy for what I've got. And, you know, as I say, I've got a lot of friends that are on building sites and, you know, each to their own. I look at that and I think, mate, you've got it hard. You know, they say to me, how do you get in a cage and, and fight? And for me, this is just play fighting. This is just what we do. You know, it's there's a referee. It's, it's a safe sport as far as I'm concerned. You get a couple of bumps and bruises on the way, but, you know, I'm just, I'm getting paid decent money to just play fight.